Yo, good morning. Right, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, we are back at the job where we did a load of garden lights um, a little while ago. Uh, previous videos, I'll put them up here somewhere. Um, and we were doing it in torrential rain, and there was always been planning on having a greenhouse, and here we are. So we're doing the power for it. So stay tuned if you haven't already subscribed. Links in the corner, and let's get stuck into it. Right, so, said greenhouse, okay, so we've already done, uh, there's loads of post lights, uh, sorry, spike lights and various different bits and bobs, but we always knew there was a greenhouse going to be coming at some stage, and here she is. So we've already put in a, there's an armoured that's tucked behind that shed there, and we weren't entirely sure on how much, um, how much, power and things use that they're going to have in here so we put a six mil in because there was potential of having heat mats and you know irrigation stuff all that sort of stuff so we put a six mil in it's fine okay so but the plans change a little bit and it's here okay so what all, all the client wants at the minute is just to have a double socket in here that's it okay there's nothing else needed as it stands right now so the plan for us is there's actually a drain underneath my feet here so I don't exactly know where all the cables come in and uh, cables all the pipes and stuff come in so we've caught with a bit of a bit of bit of a plan and so I've been got some uni strut and we've got the bracket there and the idea is that I'm going to be mount that to there like so and then mount my socket on on there um, and using a obviously a weatherproof uh, socket on there and I think that's going to give me the best option so obviously moving forward if they want to put a, a board in here and all the rest of it but there's but there's nothing to fix to I can't fix it to the framing or anything so you know that's what we've come up with the important thing now for us is actually getting the cable in so what we're gonna have to do is drill through through here and bring the armoured through and then up the back I was thinking or oh, it'd be around the front sort of thing or, and into the uni strut so that's what we're going to do so I've got another couple of other little jobs to do inside so what I'm going to do is get Jack to fish out the armoured cable which will be behind there uh, and then start running it along here so I'll set you up we'll get cracking on drilling the holes out and stuff um, yeah so I think that's the I think that is the plan the Cable itself, I'll tell you what, I'll go and show you in the board in there. Jack, if you want to crack on with getting that, that armoured sorted for down there. So, the board that we've already put in, uh, just coming to the garage, Garugio. Um, so, it's a bit dark in here, so sorry. So, this is our board, which we've already prepped, ready to go. So, we've got our supplies in, we're up there, which is, because like I say, we were going to put another DB in there, but obviously the plan's changed. So, that 32 amp uh, MCB is now going to be changed to a RCBO, because obviously I need RCD protection at that end. Um, so, that's what it's going to be. So, like I say, we'll get stuck in, uh, and... We shall catch up with you in a minute once I get myself all sorted. Right, so we're just, just, just explaining something to Jack and I thought I might as well share it with you guys. So with cutting that armoured, yes you can use proper cutters, which I haven't got. So someone who's got some, send them to me, it's fine. But I haven't got them, so I always use a little four inch grinder, which is what Jack's got in his hand. And I was just explaining to him that when you're cutting through armoured or any metal work, let's be honest, that's anywhere near glass, don't do it. Move away, make sure you don't get any of your sparks actually in contact with the glass because it actually burns its way into the glass and leaves marks. So what, as you've gone and done, done and dusted, you think, oh, it's a bit of a dirty mark on there. It's not, it's actually burnt and etched itself in. So it's a bit of a top tip there, which I was not expecting to be, uh, be telling you a lot on the channel. So that's what, that's what it is. So like with there, I said with Jack, if you're cutting that way, so the sparks will travel that way, behind that water butt, so they won't go on that glass. And that's what really you need to do. <coughs> so, but yeah, so I thought I'd share that, bit of a top tip. So, what we've done, we've used 
a stuffing gland to bring that through. I was going to just use, um, being honest, I was going to use a bit of like grommet strip, something like that, but then I thought, well, actually, we might as well just use a stuffing gland and it keeps it all in place then. Um, Jack's just fixed those to the block paving, just going to sort out those bits of armour behind. So, my plan is for this, so go in the centre of this window. Now, this will open up, so I've got to make sure it's far, far enough back that it doesn't get in the way. So that is basically where we're going to have that. So we're going to fix those up. That's going to be like that, and then another one here. And then that way we can mount that up like so, and then mount the socket onto, onto that. So that is our plan, and that's what we're up to. So I'm just going to um, drill those through, and uh, yeah, we'll get that mounted up. I would show you a little trick for doing for cutting your shrouds basically for your armoured okay so loads of people do it differently that's fine um, but somebody showed me this recently and I actually thought genius so I'm gonna share it you know um, so I can't say I pinched this this is all my idea because it's not so some people, what they'll do, they'll cut cut the end and then fold it in, okay, and then it then s slide their way in. Obviously, when the winter, like it is now, it's they don't move very much. So, boiling water, drop that in, it's really malleable. Then perfect, but we haven't got that. So, if you turn that, so it's that way round, okay. Slide that down, and if you twist it. When it's down, when it's sort of like so, when it's like, um, let me show you now, actually. So when it is down like that, so it's a new one. So if you push that down and, as, and screw it, as if you're like using a pencil sharpener as such, you'll leave a line. I don't know whether you can see that very much, but you'll leave a line, and that line there is what you need to cut then with your knife, okay? So you slice that through, and that gives you that. Here's one I prepared earlier, a bit of Blue Peter special for you golden oldies. Um, and that will give you the perfect size to go on. Such a simple idea that I'd love to say that I've invented and brought to you, but I haven't, so I'm just sharing it with you. So what I'm going to do now is leave that for Jack now. Jack's going to terminate the rest of this, but I just wanted to share this. So I'm trying to make this video with as many tips as I possibly can, so we shall see.
Right, so back in the garage now, okay, so what I wanted to show you is I've been sent this um, Klein head torch. I don't normally use head torches to be fair, it's been a long, many, many years the why I haven't. So normally I use another torch which has got magnetic um, base as such and I just fix it to there and they're brilliant. But obviously for, for a little job like this, I thought, Do you know what, I'm going to get it out and give it a go. And absolutely wicked so i'm going to try not to blind you but there you go but yeah so for here it's absolutely perfect because this is a really really dark garage and it's hard to really tell comprehend properly but let me try and do do that in there so so basically what i've done now is i've took that mcb out okay swapped it over for this rcbo um and because I've already got these cables already in place, I've got some sleeving on, we're all ready to go, so it's all ready for testing while Jack's getting on with those uh, those bits. But I just wanted to show you, um, obviously the head torches and stuff, obviously they're quite cool. Let me just take, take it off. Oh. So this one here has got uh, different colour modes and settings and all sorts of stuff. Um, and the other thing what I like about it is that you can actually take it off. Well, I'm bloody blind now, but um, you can actually take this base off and stick it on. But, but yeah, it's quite and it's rechargeable. Well, that's the other key is because every other head torch you've ever had, they've always just been battery operated. As in, you're sticking your like your, your double A's in or whatever, and then what happens then is you forget to get those, and then that's annoying. So then you end up throwing this away because it gets on your nerves um so it comes with a usb charging um cable and stuff so you can just stick that in your van as you drive into your next job and away you go so i imagine if you're doing loads of eicrs then that would be really really useful uh, and also if you don't want to talk to the customers because they're awkward on these eicrs you can literally just have that on and just keep blinding them in the face and then that way they won't ask any more questions will they so yeah food for thought for that but yeah go and check them out the client tools um but yeah really good i'm impressed with that so far but like i said i'll keep using it for over the next few months and we'll we'll see how we uh, how we get on and how it stacks up Right, so Jack, as you've seen, has, has wired all that in. So we're just testing it now. Um, so my R1, R2 is uh, 0.3637 on there. So we've fitted the RCBO at the other end. Um, so I've just got to do my insulation resistance test on there. And yeah, like I say, six mil is obviously a bit big for going into, into there, but, um, it gives me the flexibility because the run it doesn't need the six mil for that run but like i said originally that there was going to be another uh, db in here for for other bits and bobs but i think that's worked out really well so like i say i'll just rattle through those test tests then and get that all sorted and then there's just a little light inside so that's this that's just done so this is the end result um just gone through with a client about it i mean there's not much to say about it really it's just we tried to do a different way of installing it because of the risks that we've got underneath here because literally where i'm standing there is a manhole that's been covered over or an inspection chamber um so i don't know where all the pipes lead in so 
there's no way I'm going to be hammering uh, and burying a, a, a stake in the ground. So that's why I've come up with that solution. It's worked out really well. Um, so yeah, so it's only going to have little little bits like this in there plugged in. So yeah, so I'm just going to quickly show you into the consumer unit um, where we've all sorted, and then it's packing the rest of the stuff away. Um, so Jack's just labelled that up now. It's all tested out, fine and dandy. So just labelled up as greenhouse socket, which you probably can't see to be fair, the lighting is not very good. So yeah, so that's us. We are just packing away all the other little jobs are done and dusted. Um, so kit back in the van and we're off. So Jack is loading up as we speak and that's this job done hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave your comments below as usual and that's us done right catch you on the next one cheers guys